Hello guys, welcome to my course. My name is Gregory Pacheco and I'm, and I'm going to be your instructor in this section. So, uh, in this course we're going to learn how to build web applications using the most recent version released from Django. That's the version dot 2.0, okay? As well, we're going to use the, re the latest version of Python that at the, at, at the moment is Python 3.6 uh, so let me introduce a little bit about myself so I am a, a Python full stack engineer at the moment I'm living in Ireland I have about six years of experience with web development mobile development and cloud computing uh, I'm a, a system analyst bachelor so I'm from Brazil and uh, that's my my link I I'm gonna let my LinkedIn link in this video description so if you want you can get in touch with me by LinkedIn as well okay so let's get it started uh, as I said in this course we're going to use Python the most ver uh, most recent versions is the, is the 3.6.4 okay but I'm pretty sure that even if they update this for Python 3.7 the same commands the same uh, syntax you know the same functions will will works very well because there is no breaking change for the next versions in Django either in Python okay so everything that you learn in, in this course even if this version gets updated because it happens frequently uh, this this lectures all these classes are going to work in the same way if it doesn't work for some reason I'm gonna record the video again okay updating you guys within the most recent recent comments so and, and as I said the main objective main goal of this course is using Django okay the version 2.0 has been recently released less than a month ago so um, it's a very expected version from Django uh, Django in your in its previous uh, version was very stable so Django is a web framework very well known around the world so um, that's why we're going to focus on this technology because I think it is a very nice technology you know it's uh, a great framework for uh, developers that, that uh, cares a lot about deadlines and so on you know cares about uh, cares a lot about producti productivity and so on so as that that's the Django official website so he he said that is ridiculous very fast reasonably secure exceedingly scalable so is a framework is called full stack framework so it comes with uh, since the base so Django has the ORM the object related manager it has as well the template system uh, it has a, it uh, its own uh, web framework so uh, web server sorry so you can run a web server locally for development purpose so you you don't need to do a huge setup on your machine to get Django running in your in your you know in your local environment so it's very very easy to get it it work uh, and you know you have a, your one base set up ready for start developing so it's a very very nice stack with everything that you need for starting with web development so if you go to the to Django website you see the in this documentation section that it has one tutorial that's a very very nice uh, tutorial with five steps uh, so it comes from even the very beginning set up uh, the base keys about uh, web that is request and response whereas Django is based on as well it covers the model the views forms testing static files customizing customizing admin website so I will cover all of these parts okay by the end of this course we're gonna have one application like this 
hosted on Heroku. I'm gonna talk a little bit about Heroku soon. I'll, I'll open the website here, but I'm gonna show you guys how this the application will look like uh, by the end of this course. So we are gonna have the, the application deployed online, so you can send a link for your friends. You can, you know, for your clients, you are gonna have one real application running on Heroku with HTTPS and so on and so forth. So uh, this application uh, here has a one login page from the beginning so you you type your user and password so we are going to use the Django default web views for uh, for login and logout so Django will take care about the security about the encryption about the password validations and and all this stuff related to OAuth protocol so Django will take care of this hassle for us and this is the the it, this application is about one simple client manager so just for storing clients uh, in the database so you can read you can update you can delete you can you know create more clients so it's a very very simple application but it, it with this we can cover all the main uh, the main parts of Django, the main, main concepts of our web development, you know, so we go, we're going to handle requests, create URLs, views, templates, and so on and so forth. So here, when you click new, uh, we can create one client like this. I'm going to put on, on test client and last name and age and salary and bio you can pick a file it's gonna upload the file to the server and you can click save and here it is the the client list again so here you can see the client listed on the the main list you can click here you can see the details you can update the, the information you can save that again you can change the client uh, image so you click save again or you can you can delete this the, the client you can uh, you're gonna get one confirmation message first and then you click delete again you know so it's very simple but it's very like eight percent of the most applications are based on crudes so create read update and, and delete so uh once you cover one whole crude i think you're gonna have a very nice base for other uh, like base base to base um, web development okay so here we click in in logout and we come back to the main page again okay so it's a very simple application but um, by the end of this, this course you, you at least you're gonna have a code we're gonna have one experience deploying one real web application what I think is very nice as a first step even if you have you have a experience already in another framework or in another technology uh, if you are starting with Django or if you just want to get more uh, comfortable with Django concept concepts uh, you can be sure that this course will switch uh, for you, okay? So, this is the the, the Heroku uh, web page, the first web page that we get. Here's the, the, the application that we're going to, to, to build together during this course. So, uh, once you have the application set up on Heroku, you can view the logs when it was built, you can manage the settings, you can access, you can put more collaborators into your project, you can have a look in the logs, so it's a very nice, very nice dashboard, you know, for controlling and monitoring your application. And you're going to see that it's, it's not very complicated to have one very professional deploy like this. Uh, let me talk a little bit about Heroku. Heroku is a platform as a service, so it will provide us uh, one small instance to put our web application online it will provide the environment with python with django with the requirements that we need 
it as well will create um, one Postgres database and, and we can use, we can connect with this database to use a professional database as an official database for our application. So it's, it's like one, one very professional stack uh, of technology that we're going to use in this course since Python as well, Django, virtual environments, uh, deploy one pla in one platform as a service like that is very really cool in this case and as well one very well known by, uh, database called uh, Postgres that okay so if we have a look on Postgres website at the moment it, it's on its uh, version 10.1 that's recently released in November uh, in 2017 so it's a very updated version as well of Postgres so we're going to use one very uh, nice um, stack of technologies okay so by the end of this course I think we're going to have an, um, one reasonable experience at least when, with your first project in in like a real world web web project okay guys so that's it that's it for this class I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoyed the technology that, that we are going to use. And uh, next next class, we're going to set up our environment. I'm gonna teach you how to install Python, how to install Django, and create our first project on Django. Okay. So I hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you in the next class. Bye bye.